Welcome to our aerial view of one of northern Wisconsin's most beautiful and challenging golf courses, the Cumberland Golf Club. You can view the entire course in its entirety here, or, if you'd rather, click the Flyover Video Tour tab at the top to see each hole separately. We look forward to seeing you on the ground at the CGC. You'll begin your round at the Cumberland Golf Club with a blind par 5 that dogs slightly to the right. A steep hill around 200 yards from the white tee box cascades into a bowl with a steep incline on the right and an embankment giving way to a small pond guarding the fairway on the left. Navigate through this and you are left with a chip or a pitch to an elevated green that banks from back to front. The par 4 second hole is a dog leg left. You have to be careful of not hooking left into a hollow and equally careful to not overdrive the fairway. Hitters from the gold tees have a big advantage as they are able to look down the fairway. From the 150 marker, the fairway runs downhill to a tricky green that is banked from right to left. Par 4 third hole, dog legs to the right. A pond off the blue and white tee boxes stretches to the right and protects the fairway for those trying to cut the corner by too much. The fairway narrows to a hammer shaped green with a bunker protecting a back pin on the left hand side of the green. The par 3 fourth hole is called the Island Green by the locals. A peninsula type green juts into a pond. The tee shot must carry the first part of the pond yet stays short of the second. Players that opt to hit to the right risk hitting into two bunkers that guard the green on the right side. Par 4 fifth hole is rated the third most difficult hole on the course. A long par 4, a bunker taunts long hitters at the top left side of the hill off the tee. Keep your shot right and you're still looking at a long iron or wood to a tricky green guarded by bunkers on both front sides that plays very difficult, especially when the pin is in the back. Par 4 6 turns back to the north. A level fairway until about 180 yards from the white tees is sloped sharply downhill to a pond that lies between the fairway and the green. Big hitters need to keep the drivers in the golf bag. Those uncomfortable clearing the pond can hit their second shots to the left and come at this peanut shaped green from the side. Three bunkers and a thick rough discourage an approach shot that flies too far. The seventh hole is a longer par 4 that turns back to the south. Like the fifth hole, the player's drive goes up a hill with a good shot making it to the top and avoiding a fairway bunker on the left. The green is bunkered on the left and back with woods looming on the deep right. The par 5 eighth hole is rated as the most difficult hole on the course. At over 500 yards from both the blue and white tees, a blind tee shot that flies over the hill is an ideal setup for a second shot, especially if it makes it to the bottom of the hill. Three bunkers in succession discourage bombers from trying to reach this green in two shots. You'll finish the front nine with the longest and most difficult par three on the course as you head back to the clubhouse. A C-shaped pond needs to be carried to a green that is heavily sloped from back to front and protected by bunkers on the left and right. The back nine starts with a straight par four 
that is wooded on both sides of the fairway, which is going to be a common theme on CGC's back nine holes. A second shot requires the player to hit a heavily sloped green. A shot above the pin is one of the most difficult putts on the course. The par 4 11th is one of the CGC's signature holes, as three ponds are infamous for swallowing wayward drives. If you hit the fairway with your drive, you're left with a second shot that must carry a pond but stay short of a bunker on a horizontal green. The par 3 12th is short but fraught with obstacles. There is a pond to the left of the tee box and the player must carry another pond to reach a green that is bunkered on the front left and back right. This is a beautiful hole in the fall as the green is tucked into the woods. The par 4 13th hole is a tight dog leg left that requires a layup shot off the tee. A good tee shot will leave you with a look at a pond between you and the green, and a green that is protected by a pond on the left and back and a bunker on the right. The green is trough shaped, making putts a difficult read. The 13th is ranked the fourth most difficult hole on the course. The second most difficult hole on the course is the par 5 14th. Bombers risk driving their tee shot into a pond, but most can get away with using a driver to put their tee shot into a wide fairway. The second shot has to clear a pond and then avoid Death Valley at each shot that drift to the right. A good second shot leaves you looking at a green protected by three bunkers. The par 4 15th has one of the tightest fairways on the course. Lined with trees and a pond on the left, it becomes incumbent upon the player to hit their tee shot straight. The green has two bunkers on both front sides, and shots that go long risk plunking into a pond that is on the right side. The par 4 16th, like the 15th hole just played, features a tight fairway lined with woods. Pin placement in the back of the green makes this a much more difficult par as the player has to risk hitting over a left front bunker. The par 317th is both the shortest and easiest hole on the course according to the course handicap. And it is, if you avoid dumping your short tee shot into one of three bunkers surrounding the green. You'll finish your day with a long par 5. The 18th goes straight for 400 yards before taking a sharp left at a hilltop. Big hitters can take a chance by cutting the corner but need to keep their drives on the right side of the fairway to have a shot. A bunker on the right side of the green discourages that attempt.